y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be trying to install this Be Cool radiator that has a built-in trans cooler. And uh, this isn't made for this car, so let's see what happens. All right, so this is the original isolator that came with the Monte Carlo. With, it came, this one came stock with a six cylinder. Um, so it's for an inch and a half radiator. I went on the Amazons and got this one. It's a little bigger one, uh, fits a two and a half inch core, which is what this one is. Um, had to modify it a little bit because it wasn't quite two and a half inches, like two and three quarters. So I just got the corners out, but it fits in there nice and snug at the bottom. Uh, I already installed the bottom isolator. So I just got to figure out how I'm going to do this top. Um, well, I think I might just do a little piece of angle iron just to hold it there. I mean, it's a good angle. I don't know. What do you think? I'm also going to put a little rubber piece in between the mount and the radiator. All right, got those all done. I think they turned out pretty good. Those are in there nice and solid. Uh, M8 grade 8 bolts are a little overkill, but that's the tap that I had available with the bolts. So the bottom isolators are holding it nice and tight too. I don't think it's going anywhere. At some point, I'll have to take these brackets off and give them a little, you know, get them the same color. So, but the, I think the next step we're going to do is put the calipers on that we refreshed a couple videos ago. Get the those ones and get those rear ones done too. The fuck did my wrench go? I just had it. Make sure you're using, oh shit, make sure you're using new crush washers. Don't try to reuse old ones. They're like a penny each of that. Really easy to put those calipers on. There's literally only the two, two bolts and then a emergency brake cable, which I still have to run. And the blinds which i still also have to run so we'll get the other side done call it a night well it's been a week since i've got to come out to my shop and play and uh we got stuffs and things come see come see i got radiator fans and all kinds of fittings and relay uh, proportioning valve for the brakes. Uh, this is the master cylinder. Brake booster for said brakes. And a steering shaft. And coils and wires. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited. We got more stuff to do. Well, I want to start with this. Believe it or not, I read the instructions. And it said you can't use the pass-through zip ties to secure this. So it came with these plastic mounts, I guess. Um, 
So it actually works out kind of good because I can connect that to th these angle iron pieces that we made last time. And um, I'll just put a, a plate off the front of that and drill it so we can get a bolt. Um, the bottom might be a little more difficult though. So I might have to, uh, might have to fabricate another bracket, but that's okay. That's the fun part. So let's get after it. So I got a couple of coats of black on those and uh, I think it turned out okay. Let's go ahead and stick those on. So we got our two mounts up top and that one down at the bottom. Got that all finished up. Next up is I got all kinds of extra stuff to do. We got coils and wires. We got to do the headers. First, we got to cut those little guys off the corner there. Then we got to do brake booster and master cylinder and steering column. And what else was there? brake proportioning valve so we got a lot of crap to do all that's gonna have to wait till next time so thanks for stopping by i'll see you next time